Whether they're keeping energy levels up with frothy coffee or introducing you to investors and experts, these are the places many of India's entrepreneurs now go to work. Some may look like cafes, others like more traditional offices, but all are calling themselves co-working spaces, places people come to get things done. Most customers here are self-employed, some running new startups. They're looking for a place to be creative, while someone else looks after the mundane side of operating the business. Many people kind of jump out of their corporate jobs, right, and they were in a protective environment where there was uh, somebody to take care of their printing, somebody to kind of uh, take care of their laptop repairs and things like that. But now they are on their own. They need some comfort of an environment where they feel more secured. Customers pay for this, of course, often by the day or monthly subscription. Others charge an upfront fee that you can redeem for food and drinks. And users say it makes financial sense. The major uh, benefit to work in a co-working environment is to saving the cost. The other option was to work from home and uh, gain, um, generate more revenue and then go on to the bigger office and the newer offices. But this co-working space is a really, really a huge help for people like us. The tea's on tap, as is advice. Here, entrepreneurs are getting to grips with the legal obligations of setting up a new venture. Invaluable in an age where a brainwave can become an up-and-running business in only weeks or even days. People have seen WhatsApp, people have seen uh, college dropouts uh, uh, creating Facebook and uh, other such ventures, right? People are uh, uh, launching their product and learning from the market feedback and kind of improvising on what they're doing. In fact, that's the lean startup model. 35 kilometers away in Gurgaon, another co-working business is also offering more than just office space and utilities. Having so many companies under one roof doesn't just mean they share the pain on practical issues like how to set up a business or sharing Wi-Fi and electricity. They also share ideas, talent, skills. People are more connected. The new generation reaches out to people on Facebook. They sell there. They ask for help there. I think gone are the days when people used to sit in their own office and say, I will just work as myself. And Co-working is a physical, uh, physical appearance of this virtually connected network. This more collaborative model has boomed in places like Silicon Valley and the trendier parts of cities in Europe. Some of these workspaces undeniably feel more like a place for a night out than a business meeting with food, drink, music. Maybe not everyone's idea of an environment conducive to work. It does become a sort of restaurant bar in the evening and I think it, I've got cutlery on my table so it, it definitely feels more like a cafe than a kind of public co-working space. I come here to work because I'm in that mood, right? It's something energetic. When I really need to have some quiet time, I'll choose a quieter place. But whether it appeals to you or not, more co-working centres are opening up across India's big cities competing against each other to win the loyalty of customers who've definitely got their eye on the ball. David Reed, BBC News, Delhi.